Hello, welcome to this tutorial and I'll be showing you how to video edit any kind of video that you have with a su substantial program called Vegas Pro 11. It is made by Sony and it is only available to be paid for. However, there is a trial with it if you navigate to the page and go and click on download free trial and choose the bit for your computer. When you have this program, I'll be showing you step by step how to use it with the simple basics and that way you can video edit anything that you have with the simple tools I'll be showing you. Now that you have Vegas Pro installed, open it up and you should be brought to the whole new environment of Vegas Pro. So to begin with, we will be making a project. By making a project, you go to File and New. Of course, when you first open Sony Vegas, it, it already has everything set up for you and it's all empty. So if you want to make it in HD or in certain um, aspects, go to the top left corner. This is called the toolbar. And when you click on File, and then you navigate to Properties, when you click on this, it brings up, brings up the properties. I know it looks uh, confusing and complicated, but it's actually not hard at all. So for beginners, 720p is you know the size of 1280 by 720. And when you have that, that's called 720p high definition. But if you change it to 1920, 1920 to 180, that is 1080p, which nobody really uses uses on YouTube unless they are really, really uh, have high-end graphics cards. So for beginners, I suggest to use 1280 by 720, depending with your video if it's in high definition, and then you have it in 720p. If you click on the drop down box, it should show um, highlights on what you want to choose. Just make sure you read it um, very well. And when you do that, you can choose the pixel format, everything here, and uh, make sure everything is set for you and you are comfortable with it. Along goes with the audio tab, you choose your quality. For me, I just leave it by itself, um, unless you're professional and you want to really make it a uh, uh, look at its best and when you do all of this all you have to do is just click on OK and your 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 own project is still empty because you haven't added it in a video so for example I'll be using a sample video which is called wildlife and in order to drag in a video you just drag it in just make sure it's compatible with Sony Vegas but from my perspective most of everything is compatible with Sony Vegas from videos not all of them unless you have to convert them so when you have this clip that you added in, all you have to do is just drag it to the beginning or wherever you want to drag it. It doesn't really matter. But if you want to be uh, organized, just drag it to the beginning of whatever you want to be organized. Now for the basic shortcuts for video editing in this program. If you go to the beginning or you choose any kind of place where you click on. And now when you click to the beginning and you hit the play button at the bottom, it plays it. Now there are two different ways to do this. One feature is spacebar, and you press it again, and it brings you to the beginning where you press spacebar. Now, when you press enter, and you press enter again, it stops where you press enter. Um, spacebar just resumes back to the same area when you press spacebar, but enter uses it differently. So this is what I'm telling you, so you won't be confused. Now for simple editing, let's say we have a bad shot. Well, this video is a professional, unless you want to shorten the horses here, the shorten the length of what the horses are doing. So you click on that area. Make sure when you do this, you click on the audio or the video specifically, and it will highlight the whole thing. Now when I do that, you see that this becomes darker, and the video up here is uh, highlighted too. So when you do this, a shortcut to uh, cut it in half is by pressing S on the keyboard. Then you go and move to the other side of what you want to cut, and you press S again. Now that clip that we don't want, click on that, and then press Delete, and it shortens it. And as you see, it kind of jumped and clipped, unless you're doing um, more uh, video editing, like if you cough or someone did something wrong, you can do this. Oh, something I forgot to mention is zooming in, magnifying the, the timeline, the video in the timeline. When you scroll with your mouse, it zooms in and the video becomes super long and you'll notice the scroll bar here is smaller. This does not make the video long, it is basically zooming in. 
in order to uh, pick out certain spots. Saving your video project is the most important part. So if you go to File and you click Save or Save As, it will ask you for you to uh, choose a directory where to save it. I already have mine in Micro Helper and uh, let's say how to edit videos in Videos in Production. And then you just name the file of your project. I'm just going to call it 123 and you hit Save. And each time you do an edit, let's say I press S, you should see a little star by the end of VEG and when it does that it's not saved so when you press control s each moment you save it it's saved so that is how you save it make sure you keep doing that if you make any problems or if you're going to resume your work in the meantime for this next step i'll be showing you how to add in text and by doing this all you have to do is navigate all you have to do is find an empty spot let's say you know where this video is but click on the area where the but click on the same level it's on um, zoom in a bit with your scroll bar with your scroll mouse and right click on that empty spot make sure it's empty then click on insert video track obviously there's a shortcut which is control shift Q um, you can use it if you want it's not that hard but I'm pretty lazy with that so all I do is hit insert video track when I right click and when you do that you'll notice an additional line now when you do that the video below it is the lower layer and whatever you put on top is the other layer that will be overlapping it may cover the video unless you know what you're doing which I'll be showing you so when you're in Vegas Pro I think the default is Explorer on this left side on this uh, window pane what I want you to do is go to media generators if you can't find it hit this small box right here these arrows and then you should find it when you move to the right now when you do this that empty spot we created drag in the default text do not get solid background because solid background blacks out your video and when you do this the, the text is covering what you want to show unless you want that to do it but for this demonstration we'll be using default text which only has the text and no background and when you do this you get to put whatever you want just put uh, horses you know just horses I guess the title of that then uh, you can just highlight it set what text you want let's say uh, Sigoi or I don't know how to pronounce that word and Sigoi script you can also edit the text size let's say 48 you can make it bold or not you can check out the other properties here you have the placement text which uh, moves it around more on your screen this is method one and it's called freeform and in properties you can choose a color for me I'm leaving it at white you can play around with that effects do what you want to do drop shadow which adds a shadow to it and all these effects when you're done with it just click on that X and you notice that it's in front of it now when you do this you'll notice that it you want to edit it to be shown how long um, by doing this you see when you hover your mouse over the end of that text you should see this it's, it's an uh, mouse icon which you can extend and by extending it it can go as far as it wants as a text it's quite different for a video because it might uh, replay the longer you bring it out like this and if you want the text to be moved around where it says events pan crop icon you should notice this one it's not that hard to notice when you click on that it brings up a window like this when you have it like this you can choose to make it smaller you know zooming in and out out, out of this pan and crop and you can choose where to put the text like at the top of here and uh, that's where the text is going to be now if you want a transition, a transition is what you know brings an effect. If you click on the transitions tab here, you can choose what you want. Let's say left to right. Um, I'll go with left to right. You can also choose like um, fade. Uh, where is fade? I don't know. The category here, you can uh, play around with it. I'll just go with 3D blinds, left to right. And you notice that your text disappeared. You can uh, play around with the settings, but I never touch them. And when you zoom in with the mouse, of course, make sure you click on the text, only the text, and you zoom in. And then you can choose the fade offset. It should show the uh, amount of how much you want it to be. The shorter you make it, the faster the animation is. But when you make it longer, the animation comes out uh, more smooth. And you can make it longer too again. 
just like that. And this is how you add text on top of your video. You can do as many as you want. Let's say we right click and then copy. And then we insert another video track. Make sure you uh, right click on an empty line. Put another one on top. Right click, paste. And it, it will ask to create a new copy. I suggest to do it and just click on that one. Click on OK. You should see another one added. Now if you want to change the text on this one, click on that where it says generated media icon. When you click on that, just rename, I mean uh, write in a text. I'm going to put running and I'm going to add it to uh, let's say this to this uh, length right here. I'm going to go to the pan and crop and then put it like that. So when we play it, you notice that the animation comes in with it but if you make it like uh, a little bit later it comes out just like that. That is quite easy. And then at the end of the, the text clip, um, just shorten it as much as you want. And you can put another transition. Uh, let's say a left to right. Um, I'm going to add another left to right at the end of it. And you notice that it's overlapping quite fast. You can make it uh, the fade offset uh, smooth, being shorter. Say 10 seconds and this one, leave it at what it was. And do the same. You notice that when we came in, it was left to right. Now we can make it right to left with the different one. So when you see this, it says transition properties on that transition. When you click on that, the direction is left to right. We can change it from to right to left. Same goes with the second one, right to left. So now the animation is uh, more complex. Here, let me make this longer so you can see it better. And that's what you do to make a transition. This method can be repeated with the video if you want it to come in just like that. You can choose a different one here. Uh, push up. Uh, or wait, let me change that to uh, spiral. Here, we're going to go 90s cheesy. So now when it does a transition, it comes in with that transition we put on that video or the text or anything that you added and it comes in just like that that's how you do transition you can uh, do the same uh, process which I showed earlier to uh, cut it now if you want to choose all the videos make sure you choose an MTV uh, area below it when you click on that and you press S it cuts the whole video but it, when you make a mistake, I will be showing you this method. If you make a mistake in your videos, press Control Z, and it brings the videos uh, back together. Press S. Oh no, we cut it in half. Press Control Z. It'll bring you back, and that's what can save you. So I'm showing you that now. So back to the point. When you want to choose a certain area, because we have so many clips all over, and you just want to choose this to edit, you press. You make sure you highlight that video, or you can highlight this text or this text. Now when you do that and you press S, it only cuts that one. And if you do the same same procedure with the, the video, only that part, not this text. Because if we choose, when we don't highlight anything and we press S, it, it cuts everything. And you make a mistake, don't worry, just press Control Z and make sure you observe how it uh, reverts back, undoing it. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention something. Um, let's add in another clip, or actually another text. And we'll just call this one birds when you do it like that magnifying the text and you should see a blue icon where it says fade offset when you just do this this transition fades in your text instead of having some sort of complex one here let's make it longer let's say uh, one second and you press enter it fades it in but when you go to the transition area here you can choose uh, more pretty ones and then um, you know you just add it in now to dra transition out the same process can be repeated let's say you're done video editing cutting and adding text on top um, you know you want to end the video um, just get another transition I'm going to add it to the end of this and make the transition longer where it says barn door and the fade offset goes to uh, let's say 3 seconds 3.01 go to that area press enter 
and it fades out. You notice the audio just like cuts off. Let's let's say your video just cuts off and it sounds pretty bad because it doesn't sound professional. See, it just cuts off. It doesn't sound very nice. What we can do is uh, add a fade offset to the audio too. So click on that point on uh, where you put the fading and then you, you just leave this edit tool by itself and then go to the the cyan icon and drag that out too and bring it to that part and it will fade out with the music as you notice it faded out you can make it more smooth if you extend it more and then you should hear it start fading And that's how you fade in, fade out. You can do that with the beginning too. It's no biggie. This is simple. Okay, let's say you're done with the video and you're done editing it, doing all the things you need with all these simple editing uh, skills. Now at the top, you should see this render bar. All you have to do is highlight it with your mouse and you'll see two ends. You know, you can just play around with that. And this gives out the area of what you want to render. Let's say you want to render everything, but at some point you just want to render up to birds well you can extend it out extend this here um, if you want to do the whole video you can just do it like all the way to the end of that video where you're done editing and you choose this point th these markers and when you do that click on the file um, button at the toolbar then navigate to render as and then just choose a directory where you want to render it I'm gonna put in micro helper finished products and give it a title name I'm just gonna call it sample and then the template now this is the more complicated part if you know what you're doing six megabytes per second that shows that that's the capacity is gonna keep adding in each second into your video just, just make sure you have a lot of capacity on your hard drive in order to uh, render your videos either way um, 30 frames per second is what keeps it smooth um, you can increase it to 60 frames per second if you click on custom and then you head to the video tab on the small window and then you change the frame rate to uh, 59.94 um, that's a lot of processing power and it might take a long time to render you can do that if you want it to look sexy but uh, mine looks pretty fine on under template this is the easier way 6 megabytes per second HD 720 you can choose that or if we did it in 1080p which I explained earlier um, you do it by 1080p and you want 30 frames per second. For me, I am only doing 720 and I'm going to choose 6 megabytes per second, yada, yada, yada. And I'm choosing that. It gives a description of what it's going to do with these settings. Now, since we are already done with our video, you can click on save and it will render it. Depending how much processing power you have on your computer, it shouldn't take long. But remember, the bigger size when you edit, it takes far more longer because of all the effects depending with your computer specifications. It should give the approximate time left and I'll be back once this is done. Now when the video is done editing you should see three three options here. Open which opens the video. Open folder brings you to the directory. Now for beginners make sure you do open folder because if you click on open you're like where did I put the video? Well if you click on open folder which I'm about to do it brings you to the directory where you saved it. Now make sure you read this up here, you know, where you save it so you won't get lost. And remember the name and then it should highlight it. So when you double click on the video, it shows what you just did. Did you notice I did all of these? This is what video editing is. Quite easy. There are more complex materials like Adobe After Effects, which I we'll get into later in the future well those guys are not birds I forgot to edit the transition this is what you call crappy editing <laughs> don't do what I did and uh, and that is what you do in video editing just make sure you perfect it this is just an example I am more superb in video editing, not to boast, but I, I can do better than that. <laughs> but this is an, an example. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more tutorials. I'll be showing you 
um, how to do clips, let's say uh, uh, dual screens, uh, putting in more windows or videos. Just make sure your computer is up to par in order to do these kind of things. This is how you video edit simply. This is how you simply video edit with all the simple tools in Sony Vegas. Thanks for watching and subscribe.